Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, I'm going to be doing a CJP set using uh, this colour magenta and this colour heat wave. Um, it is going to be an ombre set. I may incorporate some glitter. Uh, I've not decided yet. Um, uh, I've already prepped the nails, fold, um, shaped and all that good stuff already. Um, I am going to be using my Love by CJP brush um, and the 1.2 monomer off a CJ's, CJP website. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to go in with Heat Wave to start off with at the bottom and then bring down the heat wave from the top down so when you're doing an ombre you always want to start off with your start off with your bottom colour first so I'm going to burp my brush make sure it's clean okay so I always find it easier if I work just slightly wetter than usual when I do ombres it helps to get a good fade because you want to fade it as much as you can at the top Just chop this little bit off at the end if you do have excess just chop that off okay so just watch your side walls and your free edge try and keep your shape I'm going to go in with one more really wet just so I can build my colour up a little fade it some more we don't want a harsh line in this area here So this hand is also off CJP website. Oh, got to nail there, put it in. So yeah, this is um an Eevee hand off a CJP website. So yeah, go check them out. So I want to come in with my second colour now, which is Heat Wave. I push it up to the cuticle area. Get my brush right behind it. And swipe it down the nail just get on the cuticle just wipe it away now I'm going to come in with a second bead just a, a small one just to get a better fade Now, if you do need more pink, you can always go back in, like I need to here, and just add your pink 
again. Just when you're working with acrylic, you always want to, you know, be gentle, don't push down too hard because you're gonna um, make all the acrylic like come off the nail. So, you want to be, you want to like use a feathering, like a feather type motion with your brush. on until I'm happy with my blend don't worry too much about your shape if you've got a cap and um, you've got to file your shape back into the set anyway but try and work as neat as you can okay so move on to the next nail um yeah magenta first yeah. Just a white bead to begin with so I can get my fade. You don't want this to be too thick either because you've got to encapsulate and clear when using colours. Um, what I do anyway just to save my um, colour powder some more. And if you notice I'm swiping my brush cleaning it every time I uh, touch the nail with the brush I clean it on my paper towel watching the side walls and my free edge brush behind the acrylic tap in feather it down Let's make sure it's all neat Come in with one more bead. A cute cool area. Just to make that blend a bit more. Come with some more magenta. Just to blend it. 
bring that pink back to life a little. Sometimes it also helps to cap in uh, negligee by CJP, um, which is what I'm, I tend to do. Um, sometimes. The next nail. This fade out. Okay, my side walls and every edge. Let's go in a small wet bead at the bottom. Okay. <coughs> Going as a heat wave again. So basically I just wanted to uh, do a summary set um, to cheer myself up, um, so yeah, this is why I'm doing these two colours. Just gonna come in a little wet bead off heat wave again, placing it where I want it. And then I'll come in with some magenta.
to next now. Okay, so gentle again. So, the brush, then heat wave. Now, bear in mind if you are doing this on a real client, I would recommend that you go in with a clear, a thin clear layer uh, first for the base, then go in with your colour, then cap it. So when you come to redesign or infill, you can go back to the clear layer that you placed. Again, with some magenta. Keep ruining my own nails in the process. <laughs> Just gonna get rid of this tiny gap there. Okay. So now I'm going to cap the nails in negligee. So, like I said, I used Heat Wave and Magenta. Heat Wave, that one's Magenta. And I used the 1.2 Monomer, which you don't need. Uh, primer for because it has primer built inside it already. Um, I'm just going to find my necklace here. Um, so, negligee is a cool powder that they do have. I'm going to put a little bit of glitter before I do so. This is Paradise. I'm gonna put it um, randomly, kind of couple of nails. We need a small little bead. Um, just gonna place it wherever I might place it. Mm -hmm. A bit more. Like that. And then the 
this one. The same kind of swoosh. Okay. And uh, wipe your brush off. Get all the glitter out if you brush. Make sure you do store your brush with the lid on, flat or facing downwards. Don't face it upwards. Okay, so let's put that away. Actually, I need a cap, don't I? Never mind. Get my brush back out. <laughs> Um, so, make the shape. And this is like a transparent kind of colour. Really easy to work with. Put my bead. Now this is why you want to focus on your apex and all that. So just bear that in mind. And you make sure all the colour is capped. Otherwise you're going to file away at your nice blend you got going on. Tip on the other. Blend it back. You also want your thickness. Let's so make sure you got that too. Like so. Pat down all that glitter. So make sure it's all flat. Push it up closer to the cuticle, get your brush behind the bead and swipe or feather down the nail, whatever you want to call it. Blend it up, swipe down. <clears throat> Just checking my thickness and my apex. Make sure it's all encapsulated because you'll know when it's encapsulated because um, the glitter will go all dull. So if it looks still a bit shiny, you want to go in with your second bead of negligee until it goes dull. Watch your shape, sidewalls. I'm going to call with just a little one at the cute area or the apex area. Get my brush behind and swipe it down and out. Just going to turn the nail this way and check the nail. This now put 
bead. Place it closer to the cuticle there, push it up. And then get behind. And swipe down now. Fade it up and swipe down the nail. Sorry, not a shot then. I'll do one more bead at the bottom for my thickness. Possibly one more at the cuticle area. Like so, clean my brush off, last nail, I'm going to come in with one more bead just because of the glitter. Like that cute core area. You can on the skin, make sure you get that up straight away. Check your side walls and free edge. So now you can put your brush away. <laughs> um, so that was the color core powder uh, by CJP Negligee. Clean up your brush, obviously. Put it back into shape, like I said, store it down or the lid on flat. And whilst they are setting, um, I did get this uh, monomer dish from Amazon if you want to have a look see if you can find yourself one but if not they do some really nice decent ones um on cjp website really good ones let's stick that up there um so whilst they are setting um i do want to go ahead and say um i would love it for you to uh hit the subscribe button and I'll put a like on the video if you like these nails. Um, leave a comment. Um, would be much appreciated. You can follow me on my Instagram. Um, at Nailed It By Sophie. Uh, 26. Or on Facebook. Uh, it is Nailed It By Sophie. Um, 
yeah, I would love it if you did. So, let's have a look. Yeah, just set it nicely. Just a couple of more seconds. The files that I do use are normally uh, CJP or uh, TNBL files. Uh, the sanitizer I used before I started the video was the Prep Spray Plus, and I used uh, CJP Crystal Clear Nail Tips, which I will show you now. There you go. There is their free phone number and website. They do ship worldwide. That does include does include USA, and they're normally pretty pretty quick, really really quick. Um, yeah, for their delivery, really really good, and that's what they look like. You do get five hundred, and CJP are reasonably priced. You know, they're a really good brand. Um, I used to use me a secret, which sometimes I rarely do still, but I find my sets are better when using CJP. I just find it so easy to use. It goes on like butter. Um, I, uh, on my nails, I use CJP, and I use the 1.2 monomer with O'Dolly, their new core powder, with Supernova, which is that beautiful sharded glitter you can see in my nails my uh, crystals are off Amazon so yeah these are really shiny as well for just Amazon uh, crystals yeah but even CJP do really nice crystals too but anyway I'm gonna go in with my file I'm actually going to take them out so you can see. So I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle. I'll just take the one nail out so you can see it. So you want to go at a 45 degree. You don't want your file facing that way or that way. You want it dead straight. 45 degree. Just and then I go for a 90 degree um, at the free edge just like that I'm just going to file that end a bit more get it crisp I just find when I do it at a 90 degree I get a more crisper So that's the only reason why I don't like filing on the hand is because it's like jelly and I haven't got my stand in so if I had my stand wherever it is it'd be okay it keeps it nice and sturdy it's just me being a being a pain so I'll take them out <laughs> and just file them very quickly Don't worry if they're bulky at the moment because you are going to file the bulk down in a minute. I need to put something down there. Put that back in. Top it. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. So, same goes for all the nails 45 degree, usual. Sometimes I help, sometimes I find that it helps, sorry, uh, when I go like this, like downwards, to taper it in a bit. 
when they're bulky on the sides. So you might find it easy doing that, it's entirely up to you. You can try that. It's just whatever works for you. Just because you see one nail tech do uh, it a certain way doesn't mean it will work for you. You might find a different way better, you know, better suits you, you know, suits you better, that's all. And if your application ain't as smooth as what you'll see mine as, don't get discouraged. Um, we've all been there. Uh, and I'm still not perfect, of course. I've been doing nails for two years now, and I'm still not perfect. So, you know, just don't get discouraged. Don't get yourself down about it. Because I was at you, in, you know, at your point in your shoes, at one point, and I was about ready, you know, to do the usual give up. But I picked my brush back up, and I said to myself, I'm not giving up. And I'm glad that I did do that because otherwise I wouldn't have come this far. And trust me, my nails look like chewing gum on the nail like literally even after i filed and filed and filed and filed okay so just you know don't get discouraged or anything you will get there one day so i'm just filing that because that looks a bit longer than the other nails <laughs> Okay, so when you've done that, you want to buff them over. Actually, no, sorry, you want to go in with your file. I beg my pardon. There we go. And I do use just a simple drill that's got 30,000 RPMs off of Amazon in gold. I got it in gold because, yeah, I'm just like that, weirdo. <laughs> um. But I do recommend the Melody Susie because I've seen loads of good reviews on it and I am getting one myself. So I will be doing a review on it. So you want it on a medium speed, not too high. Whatever suits you, you know. If you can't deal with it on a medium speed, put it on a lower speed. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever suits you. Or you can do it with a hand file. That's just as good. I do use these drill bits off of Amazon. This is a um, ceramic drill bit. And you've got a safety drill bit there. You've got all different ones. Uh, I can't really remember the price of them. But I know they weren't too dear. So check them out on Amazon. So. I'm just going around the cuticle. Area. Which is where you mainly want to focus. Is on the cuticle area. Because that's where you're lifting. Is going to start. So just go from right side to the left hand side, then over the nail, like so. And the next finger. I just zoom in so you can see. Well, I'm actually trying to explain. So, go from the right hand side, go around. Now, if you're scared of using the drill, there is a safety bit where on the end uh, it can't really cut you or your client. So, you can use that bit instead if you really want to. So, practice with it first so you're more confident at using the drill. Or, like I said, you can use your hand file, a 180 grit. So make sure you really seal that cuticle area. You don't know bacteria getting in there. I'm also turning the uh, finger from left to right 
to see where I need to drill and file. I'm checking my apex is in the right area. I'm checking my thickness. Any lumps or bumps, I'm filing them away. And if you've got some acrylic underneath the nail, you can just go underneath and get it off. pretty good to me. Got my apex in the right area. My thickness is good. Not too thin, not too thick. You don't want it too thin, especially if you're doing a long set, because you need that stress area to be really structurally sound. So like I said, right to left. Right. And the cute call to the left and was over the nail. Check your apex, check your thickness, check for lumps and bumps. So your apex should be here. Should be the highest point of the nail. Now we the right to the left. Right to the left. We go over the whole nail. Check the lumps and bumps. Everywhere, and you're done. So, you want to go in and buff the nails now, just bear with me whilst I find dry. It's been so hot recently, hasn't it, guys? Bear with me. My fan was making a funny noise. Um, so, okay, you want to go in with your... I'm actually going to take these. I need a fresh one. Where are they? There we go. So, I'm going to whiz over the whole nail with a buffing block, which you can get off Amazon or off a CJP. I'm pretty sure they do buffer blocks. They even do a beginner starter kit now, so you can get everything you will need uh, in one kit for 150 quid, and that will last you a good couple of months for a beginner. So get yourselves to their website. Let me just follow this little bit here. I can see a little snag right there. So you can always go back in and get whatever you notice. Bear with me. Put this now back in. That paper's really annoying me. There we go. So put that back in. I always take them out because it's just easy. it's just easier. You know. The hand is really good. It's just like I said, it's me being fussy. So you want to make sure they're nice and smooth because you want a nice smooth top gloss. Now I normally use CJP uh, tap free top gloss or time to shine. CJP which is really really glossy really really shiny but I have run out so I am going to use model ones which are on Amazon for roughly the same price so 
you're going to want to dust the nails off at this point. Give them a good dust. And then you will go to spray their hands with sanitizer or an alcohol wipe. Make sure you're sanitizing really good uh, throughout the whole process because of the coronavirus. But um, yeah, you can also get them to wash their hands as well after um, an antibacterial uh, hand wash. Let me just get this. Just want to make sure they're all perfected. Mm, let's get this one a little bit more. Sometimes I do like to turn their hand this way and get their um get their nail nice and crisp. Um like that. Get this one here. Oh, sorry. I need the camera. Anyway, um, so because mine isn't a real client, I'm just gonna use the prep spray plus to clean and sanitize my hand. And then you can just wipe over with paper towel or um, an alcohol wipe as well or so just gets rid of all that dust as well on your hand straight into the bin so time for top gloss right bear with me whilst I switch my looks there we go okay so top glass top glass top glass I use this one other ones top glass so yeah my Instagram is nailed it by Sophie uh, 26 um I do have Facebook as well, Facebook group called uh Nailed It by Sophie. So you can check that out as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Pretty pretty please. I would really appreciate it. Um if you wanna uh, if you want to leave a comment down below um, if you want me to create a set so let me know down below um, and I will try my best to recreate what you have described I will leave the description of everything I've used in this video in the description box down below um, Any questions you want to ask me, you can comment down below as well. And I'll try my best to help. Please don't forget to uh, turn the notifications bell on also, otherwise you won't get notified about when I do live streams or competitions or giveaways because I will be doing them it's right down these sides as well these into the lamp I do use uh, a Teresa UV LED nail lamp it is a 72 watt Smart 2.0 uh, off of Amazon. It was roughly about 30 pounds. It's 
you know I do recommend it it's been good to me it's also a sensor one so when I put the hand in it just comes on automatically it does have buttons as well in case you don't want to use that sensor um, other than that I recommend the CJP nail lamps they are pretty good and I will eventually be getting one because I want two so they can put the hands in each eventually I will get two CJP ones though instead of just one of each lamp so I've got 15 seconds until they're cured Bearing in mind you don't want to touch the top glass, okay, for a good minute, let it cool down because obviously it will lose its shine. Um, so I'm going to go in with the uh, Sherbet Lemon cuticle oil which smells just like Sherbet Lemon, literally, by CJP. Don't get it on their nail because it will the shine, just put it around the cuticle area, like so. Just rub it in, and there you go. Final review. Look at that gloss. There you go. Flawless blend. Look at that. And that glitter looks so pretty. It's so nice for a short set. You know, short sets can be pretty too. Just focus the camera. There we go. Oh, it's gone out of focus now. So, thank you again for watching my channel. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye bye for now.